welcome students to a new video leading uh, dealing with leaf modifications uh, one of the most important sections uh, as far as the plant morphology is concerned and also looking at the examination part of view uh, we are beginning with the uh, tendrils uh, so what exactly are tendrils tendrils are thread like uh, coil coiling structures uh, specifically meant for support so uh, for those plants which are having a weak stem uh, tendrils provide a means to support the growing stem that's a key point so thread like uh, coiling structures uh, uh, for support uh, when we are dealing with the uh, weak stem and uh, usually tendrils are unbranched and of course uh, uh, they don't have any scale so that, that so these are the important features of tendrils and uh, let's look at uh, specific modifications uh, and uh, yeah, naturally there's a very important question which is coming up uh, that's uh, if uh, leaves are modified into tendrils and uh, what, what are the parts of the plant which does photosynthesis and that that's one of the points which we'll be looking into uh, in a uh, detailed manner in this particular video so we start with a case where the whole leaf is modified uh, to a tendril uh, and interestingly in this particular case it is the stipules uh, which become leaf like uh, we know that stipules are the lateral uh, growths from the base of the leaf uh, which is meant for protecting the uh, growing bud so it's the stipules so uh, uh, which does the function of leaf or to put it more uh, practically I mean uh, it's the stipules which carry out photosynthesis in this case uh, in this particular uh, modification so the the whole leaf is converted to a tendril and the function of the leaf is carried out by stipules so not that point uh, so in this uh, modification we don't see leaves we instead see tendrils so that's a very interesting point and uh, a notable notable example is wild pea that is a uh, lathyrus ap apaca and uh, in this particular case it's the whole leaf is uh, has developed to a tent <clears throat> the second uh, uh, interesting example is uh, uh, we have the leaflet which is uh, developing as a tent so we know that what a leaflet is the leaflet is the uh, is the uh, leaf uh, uh, structure developing on a rack is on a secondary axis so uh, those leaflets are uh, becoming uh, tendrils and in the case in which we are discussing uh, uh, there's a very important point a very notable point that the whole uh, the entire leaflets are not turning into tendrils only a few upper leaflets of the pinnate compound leaves are developing the tendril so note that point all the leaflets are not uh, turning into tendrils which obviously means that uh, there are uh, normal leaflets in this particular case and the case we are discussing is about uh, uh, the pea plant pisum sativum so note the point and it's it's uh, quite well uh, shown in the diagram coming up uh, we have the uh, um, stipules which are leaf-like at the bottom very broad structures then we have the normal leaflets coming in the middle and on the top uh, we have uh, leaflets which are converted to tender like structures so not that point uh, so once again retreating um, it should be noted that uh, here the modification is only for a few upper leaflets not not for the all the leaflets so as i already told uh, interesting cases are p uh, by some sadaiva and uh, also sweet p that is a uh, latris odoractus so not the, not those examples also now examples or uh, remembering examples is very important as uh, these are usually asked uh, in the examination going on to the third case um, it's uh, a case where the tendrils the the tendrils uh, basically is the development of the petiole or the, or the petiole is uh, getting uh, transformed to a tendril like form that's a interesting uh, feature here so it's a petiolar tendril uh, basically it means that the petioles are uh, uh, along it and coil around for support so we know what a petiole is petiole is a structure which uh, 
connects the uh, leaf to a stem stem of the plant and this petiole uh, in certain cases becomes a uh, spring like tendril like uh, once again it's basically meant for supporting the growing stem when the stem is quite uh, weak that's a point and uh, the diagram here uh, very clearly demonstrate what is happening we have the uh, longish uh, elongated uh, springy uh, spring like petiole um, and it's coming out from the uh, opposite sides of the stem and it's, it's coiling around other structures for support and after that you can see that that um, tendril, tendril like petiole is ending in a leaf so not that point between the leaf and and the petiole attaching to the stem we have the tendril like function uh, happening so not that interesting point so that's about petiola tendril and uh, a good example is uh, garden astutium and also we see such developments in nepenthes also <clears throat> so that's about uh, petiola tendril and uh, once again not the point that uh, it's a petiole which is uh, the elongated structure which is winding up winding around uh, the other supports for uh, for the particular job uh, going on to the next case where um, uh, in addition to the petiole we had a rachis which is also doing the job of a tendril so what is a rachis though um, it was discussed uh, in a quite a detailed manner in a previous video a rachis is the axis i mean the axis other than the petiole or the secondary and the tertiary axis on which we uh, have the we, we see the leaflets developing so uh, in this case uh, uh, in addition to the petiole uh, you have the rachis that is the, the the axis on which the leaflets are developing uh, also carrying out the role of a tendril that's, uh, very, that's the springy structure uh, developing for supporting the uh, growing uh, weak plant uh, so uh, here the petiole the rachis and the stalks of leaflets and 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 uh, uh, that the stalk of leaflets that is petiole <coughs> of clematis uh, uh, which is the case which we are discussing uh, so note the point that uh, this particular case is uh, uh, referring to a uh, specific uh, specimen uh, this clematis and it's here uh, the petiole the rachis uh, and the stalks of the leaflets uh, which which has become weak springy uh, something like a tendril like modification and the 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 modification is clearly seen in the diagram we can see that uh, the whole structure uh, which is supporting the uh, leaflets uh, are, are uh, showing this uh, particular kind of uh, development so not that point so uh, the example in which rachis and petiole um, become tendril is clematis so not that point so that's about uh, this uh, particular case so once again uh, be clear about the examples to get a fine idea about what we are uh, discussing so uh, that's about uh, rachis and petio petiolule uh, tendril and the example as i already told is uh, clematis and going on to the next case, case so, where uh, it's the rachis tip uh, which is developing into a tendril and uh, nothing much to explain there we already know what a rachis is that's the uh, axis on which the leaflets are developing so that axis so uh, becomes a tendril uh, and a uh, good example is uh, lentil that is lens culinaris uh, so it's a case where uh, the tip of the rachis so uh, that is the secondary uh, tertiary axis uh, on which leaflets are developing so it's the tip of the rachis which is becoming a tendril so uh, once again not the example uh, as such examples are very important uh, from in, in the examination point of view going on to the sixth uh, specific example is is an interesting case where the tip of the leaf 
uh, instead of ending in an apex uh, natural apex like uh, border it's it's developing into a tendril uh, shape so the leaf tip developing into a tendril is the sixth example and uh, once again we have a, a specific uh, uh, case uh, where such a development is happening that is gloriosa superba and uh, the picture the diagram clearly depicts what we are discussing so the leaf tip is modified into tendrils in this uh, particular case so uh, as i already told uh, examples are very important as uh, in the neat examination um, we can have uh, i mean the multiple choice questions uh, usually is dealing with examples and their specific modifications going on to the last case uh, as far as tendril uh, development of tendrils is concerned is stipula tendril we already know that uh, what stipules are stipules are some lateral developments uh, uh, which you see at the base of the leaf basically meant for protecting uh, the growing uh, leaf uh, tissue so uh, once again a specific example is there that is smilax in smilax the ends of adnate stipules become tendril so not the point uh, the example is smilax and uh, here you can see that the stipule is growing uh, to a particular length along with the petiole and, and that's the characteristic feature of adnate so once again smilax where the stipules are becoming tendril so that's about uh, the leaf modifications are in the tendril structures which are meant to support weak stems and uh, and the next video will be looking at another important modifications uh, uh, i mean specifically two types of modifications that is spines and hooks so um, thanks for watching this video if you feel that the video is good and useful for you uh, please uh, like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to watch the next video which is specifically dealing with the uh, spines and hooks that's leaf modifications or uh, leaf getting converted to a uh, spine and uh, hook shapes so thanks uh, thanks once again for watching